I got an email from a chap called Nicholas, and he sent me a link to the Mail Online Science and Tech article, which says, Scientists develop a £20 device that slots over the torch in a smartphone and uses ultraviolet light to kill coronavirus and other germs on hands and surfaces in 10 seconds. And I thought, well, that looks interesting. And looking into it further, I found their website, and here it is. It's a little device that sticks onto your smartphone in front of the camera flash, and when you need to sanitise objects, you simply slide out the lens and it converts the white flashlight energy into 222 nanometer germicidal light that is safe for animals and hands and surfaces, but will kill all bacteria. And I thought, well, that's very interesting. Let's take a look at the stuff it says on their website. It says... UVLEN is our brand new in-house proprietary design targeted to a digital manufacturer industry for portable sanitizers, encouraging humanity for a healthier environment. UVLEN is a brand new revolutionary technology based on the traditional UV disinfection devices such as Xenex industrial robots and others existing UV sanitizing devices. And from here on, they're just dropping buzzwords and Xenex are most likely going to distance themselves from this company completely. Xenex do make sanitizing robots. If you consider a cart that you push into a room, a robot, but basically speaking, they have xenon lamps and they do produce broad spectrum light, including quite significant levels of ultraviolet light so they're real not convinced about this because what they're talking about here down below is not science that i'm aware of but anyway let's continue its unique advantage is that is that it is configured to be operated digitally to accommodate multiple mobile fields scenarios and sanitize surfaces such as hands with the use of your smartphone flashlight which would be great if you could do that but unlikely it does mention using patented technology and made in Korea to provide outstanding sanitizing results at a lower cost. I could not find a patent on that, but that's probably not surprising. I'm very suspicious that this may not be real. And then it says, and this is where it just drops every buzzword in the book at the moment. How does it work? By simply pointing it at your hands, utilising your smartphone flashlight combined with our mobile app, sanitizing results can occur in less than 10 seconds. With our patented technology, ultraviolet germicidal irradiation coat and diffraction grating splitting white beams combined with a dichroic mirror filter built with fused silica amorphous, let certain colours of light trough while reflecting others. This lets far UVC light straight trough, but reflecting green and higher wavelengths producing high efficiency 222 nanometer far UVC wavelength at a safe ratio, which causes no harm to the soft skin, but eliminates 99% of surface bacteria when UVLEN is at its maximum performance. Now, let's talk about the buzzwords here. The amorphous fused silica is referring to the, the quartz tubes of real ultraviolet lamps. Um, the dichroic mirror is a technology, it's used in some specialist lights for filtering exact colours through. It's like a mirror that only passes single wavelength colour because it's got a, a layer of metal on it of a specific wavelength. And diffraction grating certainly split white beams into multiple uh, multiple colours. It's used for um, little handheld spectrum analysers. You look at the light and you can see it split into different colours. However, there is a bit of a problem. All the technology they hint at here is about filtering the light from your cell phone flashlight. And your cell phone flashlight has this little LED light source. It's tiny in this, but it's not very bright at all. But that LED light puts out visible light. It does not put out 222 nanometer. It doesn't put out much ultraviolet, if any at all, because it's optimized for maximum efficiency to actually stimulate the sensors in your uh, camera. And to be able to put out actual 222 nanometer, which is an emerging technology, uh, it would have to have special glass and a special type of lamp to emit that. I don't know of any LEDs at this point in time that emit 222 nanometer, least of all ones in smartphones. So um, the technology they're referring to, uh, the 222 nanometer is this safe, modern, ultraviolet technology they're using in hospitals that you can expose humans to it. It's a short enough wavelength that can't cause damage to skin and eyes, but it can kill the bacteria. 
And the sources of it that are commonly being used are specialist eczema lamps, which are really expensive and made mostly by one company called Ushio, but have nothing whatsoever to do with phones. But I digress. I think it's time to make a sterilising filter for my phone here. So what I've got here is I've simply stuck a bit of special blue filter on. So let me demonstrate this. I'm going to unlock the phone. I shall just go off screen for this. And I'm going to use the flashlight function to enable the LED. And now you can see all the ultraviolet sterilizing light, or it could just be blue light through a blue filter. And I'll turn off this light and we shall check how this works. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. It is sterilizing everything. You can tell that because it's blue, except for one small detail. Actual ultraviolet light in that wavelength would not be visible to the human eye. Um, so it's, it's right. Anyway, blue filter. That's more or less what I'm angling at here. So let's turn that off and look at how I made this. Not just going to do you any good. It's going to give you a lovely blue light. It's a bit of a filter made by Lee Filters called Just Blue. I felt Just Blue was appropriate because it is just blue. So in my opinion, the device they're selling is probably just a blue filter and will have no germicidal properties at all because if your LED in your phone did put out germicidal light, you wouldn't need this at all. You could just actually hold the phone in front of your hand and the appropriate wavelengths would have that germicidal effect. But they don't. So, um, well, you can work it out yourself. But they do have an app that comes with the product if you buy it. And given that everything they say about their product is very, very suspicious. I'm not sure I'd want that app on my phone.